the culture of comics, if you read about, there's a lot of literature on like the culture of comics, they, they focus on like the level of lived experience, of everyday lived experience, and they often use a protagonist. You have one character, like a main character that drives the story through because um, that's the way that design really is to look at the level of lived experience and one character you know allows you to do that and i thought that was a really powerful way to tell the story of people living in climate change affected areas like from their perspective at that micro level what does it look like this is in cochabamba in bolivia and you can see the woman selling things on the street it's raining Rainfall patterns have become more, more predictable. You know, it doesn't look very nice. So she leaves and she goes home. You see her going into her home there because she's not making as much money. Like that's kind of, you fill in the gaps thinking it's raining, not as many people, not as much money being made. Instead of saying, oh, I, I didn't make a lot of money today. She goes home and she gives two sweets to the children. So I only have two today. I didn't sell much again. So again, you're filling in the gaps of, it was raining, rainfall's increasing, not as many sweets to give to the children. So that those little things where you kind of have to put, put the story together as a reader. Definitely in the UK, the kind of images we get of people affected by climate change in the so-called global south or developing countries, they're really problematic, they're really, dehumanizing so you see people crying screaming you know flood waters houses destroyed um, you know you see people in pure agony in pure pain um, and they look completely vulnerable they look paralyzed with the inability to do anything um, this creates this idea like people are like children so we wanted to really challenge that idea of people being childlike and having no capacity, having no ideas about how to adapt to climate change. So if you look at all five contexts, yes, you're seeing that it's difficult. It's a difficult situation. There isn't enough support from the government. We definitely wanted to show that, but people still have these small scale strategies to try and adapt to climate change, to live with climate change. It's not ideal. We, we didn't want to romanticize that. Um, there definitely needs to be more input from the government and international governments too. But that was the politics around it. There was a real politics of representation. 